My name is Knut Benedict, and I'd like to present my paper for the uh, European Navigation Conference. The paper is titled Innovative Assistance for E-Navigation Oriented Voyage Planning and Ship Collision Avoidance, and specifically by means of fast time simulation. My name is Knut Benedict, and I have a group of uh, co-authors which helped to, to develop these new fast time simulation uh, tools. <clears throat> Why we are doing this? The International Maritime Organization uh, requires um, voyage planning procedures uh, and I have here mentioned an extract of this. What you can see is you should plan the whole voyage of the ship from birth to birth, taking into account also maneuvering data. There should be a detailed voyage plan, including or considering all the vessels turning circle, plan speed, and also the execution of the plan should be monitored and assisted. For the time being, uh, there are some problems. So how can we do that? by means of conventional means, maneuvering booklet or wheelhouse poster. This is information on paper. Um, in my presentation, I will describe the state of the art, the current situation, uh, explain new methods we have developed by past time simulation, and finally draw a resume uh, to make on the right side a box to describe all the salmon achievements like mentioned here. The current state is that you have paper charts or maybe on a computer, but then you uh, make your birth plans like this by how to say, take your shape of a ship copying and paste. So, or on a printout of an electronic chart. This is uh, very, um, very disadvantageous and this could be much better. Uh, the latest development is that you use these uh, screens uh, in a way that uh, you place your ships here, then you try to pre-calculate drift angles and all is done manually. Uh, so it's very time consuming and uh, by smart guessing only. And therefore we want to introduce new methods by simulating these plans, but taking the mariner into the loop. So we developed a new method, we called it RAPID and SALMON. RAPID is, stands for Rapid Advanced Prediction and in Interface Technology. It combines extreme fast time simulation, so it's 1000 times faster than real time, but a smart interface allows to manually steer your ship, even for complex maneuvers. We developed a package which is called SEMEN, Simulation Augmented Maneuvering Design, Monitoring and Conning. So the set of modules uh, based on this rapid technology for maneuvering design and planning to make as an innovative new part of route planning. You can also train it on a desk cost simulation, but this is also important to steer the ship with new multiple prediction. And finally, you can also record and replay what you have done. So these new fast time simulation methods can improve the effectiveness of lecturing and simulator training drastically, but it will also improve the ship handling on board by increasing safety and we are even going into the way to reduce fuel emissions. And the best is it's uh, available on a laptop. So who developed Salmon? Who are the users? Uh, we developed this technology in our uh, Institute for Innovative Ship Simulation at the Wismar University. And uh, uh, company, ISIM's uh, company. And uh, we had a lot of research projects in the past. We implemented and tasted our maritime simulation uh, tools on our maritime simulation center, as you can see here. And it is being used at the C-Smart training center of AIDA Cruises or the whole Carnival Corporation at the World Maritime University in Malmö. Um, and initial tests are going on board 
uh, going on going on board of ferries like these uh, um, ferry hybrid ferry plying between Rostock and Gezer. And we also had it for test trials on board of these uh, uh, cruise line vessels, Aida Diva. And by the way, this is me when I passed by this nice ship after installing the software on that board ship. So what is the summon advantage in principle? Uh, this is a, uh, the status quo. You have the information available on paper, on the pilot chart, wheelhouse poster, or you can do uh, simulator demos in full mission simulators, which take very long. So the innovative salmon, it should represent all the information condensed in a ship dynamic model, digital twin, uh, with the same quality as a full mission ship handling simulator, but on a laptop. Here you can see the laptop, um, uh, uh, and this is only a display to make it larger, touch display or others. And it should also be interfaced to the bridge, either in our simulators or on board. So what is, does it mean? Uh, if you have here your, your turning circle, you immediately should say, OK, for wind or current, it should be looking like this. And all this done in a C-chart environment. This is what we call a dynamic wheelhouse poster. It's excellent for lecturing ships dynamic, simulated training, and also on board. Uh, so the full potential goes from uh, these uh, single maneuver discussions up to a complete maneuvering plan. Here you can see how to go with the port of Rostock uh, as the ferries uh, used to do. And uh, this is done with the design and planning module or trial and training. And it should be there's uh, simulated support for execu execution. So if your ship is here, there should be a prediction immediately after, uh, after using rudder or others um, as a look ahead functionality. So this is done with the conning mo monitoring and conning module. And here's a sample for the planning of maneuvers. <clears throat> so here you see the uh, the uh, arrival at uh, Fort, uh, Fort Lauderdale port. Uh, and by the way, this is what you have available in the current Actis. It's only your planned route. It's a straight line. And our software shows this ship and they show the prediction. And um, we can steer the ship by means of this panel, uh, set the uh, in, uh, environmental condition, and you can see everything uh, on this uh, display. Okay, um, uh, you see now a demonstration, um, so which allows to plan the entire maneuver. Um, okay, now I will start it. Hi, my name is Kaspar Krüger. I've been sailing as a navigational watch officer on cruise vessels, where I got involved in ship maneuvering. Of course, first in the simulator and later on board the real ships. And as I worked before with this software, I had the chance to try someone planning to prepare maneuvers beforehand and to demonstrate my maneuver by strategy on board to my colleagues before conducting the maneuver. I would just like to show you how easy and how handy it is to, to design or to find a maneuvering strategy for the upcoming maneuver, which will be the arrival to the port. And this is what I'm going to show you now um, in the next minutes. In this scenario, we have a current of two knots setting to the north, north, no wind at all. And we want to turn to port side and approach the pier over here by our starboard side. Now the candidate is setting the drift two knots. You immediately see that the ship is drifting away. The next is to adjust the heading. Then you see, okay, this would be the perfect heading to go into the channel. And the next is to approach the breakwater here. So uh, with this rudder angle to 10 to line the ship up, that the ship is not drifting when it's entering the breakwater. 
And this is a perfect situation, switching off the current because there is no current anymore. And uh, with zero rudder, the ship goes going straight now. Now, by means of the time slider down there, uh, the ship is moved to the position to start the turning maneuver. This is the perfect spot. And now uh, the rudder is uh, set to 20 degree. Um, and, uh, but have, we have to uh, use both rudder synchronize and the engines. So this is a perfect uh, turning into this basin, but if the ship arrives here, it still has up to six, eight, six to seven knots. So bringing the engine to stop will not help because it's not steering so good. It's still three knots, 3.7 knots. So an option would be to split the engines. One engine is going ahead, the other is stern. Okay, this would be perfect because then you arrive with two knots here and proceeding a little bit forward. So it's only one knot here. This would be perfect to start with the next maneuvering point to go with stern into that basin. So the engine uh, and the thruster will be used, the both thruster to stern the ship astern into that, to the pier. So the ship is now being moved to the next uh, um, appropriate uh, position. So the speed vector is pointing into this, into the proper direction. And now the thruster is being used to steer the ship closer to the berth. Okay, the final end, I will move it a little bit forward. The final end would be like this or this, so this would be a perfect maneuvering plan. Okay, just. And this is now the next uh, picture showing the uh, maneuvering plan, the complete maneuvering plan. Uh, so to remember, this was the IMO at the voyage plan, the route plan according to IMO. Um, but what we need is a full maneuvering plan. And for briefing, you can select any of these positions to see what you have done here uh, in the command settings. And there are additional text boxes to understand what you have done there. So as a resume, it's an excellent uh, briefing and planning tool. This maneuvering plan can be saved and edited and verified in total or for the most important segments or to be used for discussions. What if, if you have unwanted effects, wind gusts or whatsoever failures, then you can really play around uh, to see how you can encounter these uh, dangerous situation. Um, for the execution, this plan can be displayed in Actis and for supporting the conning by decision support using dynamic, full dynamic prediction. So immediately, as we've seen here, if you use one of these handles, or in this case, the bridge handles, then it will be shown immediately. And afterwards, the navigator can uh, be assessed uh, against his own concept. So this is also very new. So all in all, if you compare this one, then you see the uh, IMO or the salmon is able to meet the IMO requirements, taking into account actual desired conditions are considered, all maneuvering data, limits, wind, and, and so forth. And a detailed voyage plan is being shown for any controls and checked by simulation. What if analysis can be done? And during the monitoring, it could be used uh, in an, uh, on the bridge. And as also all data are stored, so it's uh, it's brilliant. And to show that, I will give a small uh, um, demonstration on the bridge. So now we are on the bridge of our maritime simulation center, and this is the the, um, the plan on the Actis. 
And now he, the operator is using uh, the engine orders and you see that the speed, these are the black shapes are the prediction, the dynamic prediction. Immediately it is being shown. And this magenta line is the already available prediction, path prediction, which is very, very slow. Um, it cannot uh, provide the opportunity here where you can really aim with your prediction and adjust rudders, thrusters, like here, th both thrusters to port side. So this is good. And if you see, uh, then the, um, this is the next position here, so the magenta line and the um, for the past prediction and the dynamic prediction here heading against the wind because we have uh, 24 five knots of wind from north. So you really have to do uh, uh, go to go for this uh, steering. OK, the last part is about talking about collision avoidance. Um, for the focus is to assist also collision avoidance. Uh, if this is your own vessel and there's a meeting where uh, another vessel is cr crossing your course, then this is a stand on vessel, you should proceed. And this is a vessel who should take action to avoid the collision. And uh, we want to use this concept uh, to uh, um, have upper and lower limits for taking the actions by this ship because this ship is required to take the action if this ship is doing nothing. Um, so what we did in a, in a, in a project is to at least um, show the predicted uh, po potential uh, maneuvers. So this is the own ship. This is our regular standard uh, prediction according to the uh, rudder sets, settings. And these are additional um, turning circle to port, to starboard, or fully full stern maneuver to see the options. And here in this way, the mariner just has used the starboard turning. And you can see against this ship that the maneuver might be very successful. Uh, the, the concept now is to also provide, how to say, an additional support to, to um, calculate the position uh, and give some guidance uh, where the last uh, line of defense, the last moment for a maneuver should be given using these uh, safe passing distance as reference. And here you see um, a, a scenario that this ship is crossing the, the, the course of this vessel. This ship should take action, but it doesn't do that. So this ship is required to avoid the, the um, collision on his own. This is the own ship. This is the target ship. And these are the speed vectors. Um, these are the encounter uh, parameters, very important, the, the CPA is the distance to the closest point of approach. Um, and uh, we want to um, use this parameter for our decision making. And this would be the collision point if both ships are doing nothing. So the prediction will be shown. Um, this prediction is showing straight. This is a static pass prediction, and the shapes are from the dynamic prediction. And here are two options. Um, if you use rather starboard 10, then you should at least start your action here. If you uh, use 30 degrees, then the, uh, the action should be allowed to start later, uh, and then you uh, have a little bit more time available. This is now the, uh, the movie showing the development of this situ situation. And I will put it a little bit forward uh, like this to make it a little bit faster. And you see now that both ships are coming closer and closer. And the uh, CPA is seeing here, it's very close to the ship. So it's a very dangerous indicator. Um, and if the ship is uh, coming closer and closer, then at a certain 
if it's coming to this decision point, then the mariner has to take the action to, to start the, the rudder activity to the starboard turning circle. And now it's being uh, activated, so the rudder is to this side, immediately shows, okay, this will be our turning circle. And the path prediction is uh, following very slowly. Um, but you should have a look onto the CPA presentation. Uh, still, even though the rudder is hard to starboard, it's very close to the ship because this ship is getting slower. And therefore, uh, for the time being, it's not a relief to the officer on board because if you see if the ship's coming closer and closer, only in the last moment, starting from here, uh, the, the CPA is uh, moving out and away from the ship. So now the uh, officer can be relieved, it might work. But he knows already from his prediction that it's being uh, positive. So summary all in all, the summon is increasing safety and efficiency, specifically building up higher uh, competence, saving up 50% uh, of time and resources um, for uh, training and uh, information collections. And you can develop a complex maneuver uh, plan, including what if analysis for recovery measures. And it supports the execution of the plan during the conning, which unrivaled support by prediction to stick to the plan or to respond immediately to sudden unexpected changes. And the second part is support for collision avoidance by pre-planning and prediction of escape maneuvers, as we have seen that. It keeps the human in the loop, both for planning and execution of the maneuvers. So it's an integrated approach to use all modules to allow for improving the mariner's performance. So finally, we are very happy to present these new innovative methods. Uh, a lot of um, projects have been helping uh, to develop this um, uh, technology. If you want to see any of these movies uh, in much more detail, simply go to YouTube and search for ISIMS. And then you find this uh, website where a lot of movies are describing this technology. And finally, I have to thank for your attention. Um, you see some um, ad, uh, email addresses here from our university and by the company who developed this technology and maintains the software. Thank you very much.